Good afternoon all. Now who was it that suggested I should uh, try and drive a NeoPixel ring with a PIC microcontroller? Actually I think it was me, so that's okay, I've only got myself to blame. However, it was Gadget UK 164 that said you didn't do the obvious rotating pixel, i.e. shift the lit pixel around the circumference. I was waiting for that. Well, I've done it now. I've managed to get uh, a pixel rotating around the 16-pixel uh, ring simply by incrementing a counter, which goes from 0 to 15, and is masked so that it has to stay within the 0 to 15 range. So that works fine, but you'll also notice that the uh, clock, the crystal oscillator, is no longer on there. And that's because I've actually changed the chip. This is the uh, 12F675, which has a 4 MHz internal oscillator. Now that was too slow, because the shortest pulse that could generate was 1 microsecond. With the 16 MHz clock, that dropped to 250 nanoseconds, which is within spec of the NeoPixels. Now this is uh, got an 8 MHz clock. This is actually a PIC 12F683, slightly more advanced chip than the 12F675. 8 MHz clock inside. So the shortest pulse that can generate is actually uh, 500 nanoseconds, just about short enough to meet the spec of the NeoPixel. Uh, here's the spec for the zero code. This is the code you use to turn NeoPixels off and it's 400 nanoseconds but it's got a tolerance of plus or minus 150 so you can go up to 550 nanoseconds and it's and so this is working uh, because the 500 nanoseconds short pulse is just about short enough however this is only just working it's right on the limit not because of the length of the pulse but actually because of what I'm trying to cram in to the low time. Now there's plenty of low time. I think one of the uh, websites that talks about how far you can push the timing on these NeoPixels said you've got up to about nine microseconds to muck about before you need to issue another high pulse. Otherwise, of course, the NeoPixel is going to see it as a reset, latch the data and uh, light up. Now, how do I know that this is right on the limit of not working? Well, because I've had to do two things. I've had to set the oscillator uh, to 8 megahertz. This is the internal oscillator. The default is actually 4 megahertz for this chip, the 12F683. But I've also had to do this, tune the oscillator to max frequency. You see, the 683 has this oscillator tuning register. If you put zero in it, the oscillator runs at the calibrated frequency. Well, that's 8 megahertz. However, you can put higher values in up to 0F to push the uh, oscillator frequency up to its maximum. Now, that's going to be a bit more than 8 megahertz, but the data sheet doesn't actually tell you how much more. Um, you can also bring the number down. It's a twos complement number. So what you do is you underflow zero to all ones and then all the way down to 10,000, of course that's binary, to take the oscillator frequency below 8 megahertz. Now that wouldn't work. It doesn't even run with the oscillator at the calibrated frequency of 8 megahertz. It only actually works if I slightly up-tune the oscillator to its maximum frequency. Let me show you what happens at exactly 8 megahertz. So I've plugged in the uh, PicKit 2 programmer now so that I can uh, make a small change to the code inside the chip. And that is, instead of a 0F being put into OSC tune, which slightly raises the 8 megahertz uh, to a frequency above that, we don't quite know what it is, I'm going to put a 0, 0 in there, and that will return the tuning of the oscillator to its calibrated frequency. Let's put 0, 0 in there. Its calibrated frequency of exactly 8 megahertz. Right, program that into the chip. In it goes, and I don't know whether you can see this, but uh, something is flashing wildly. And uh, so something's clearly wrong because I'm having difficulty turning the NeoPixels off properly. They're just flashing on and off like crazy. But you can see that there is a bright spot rotating round. 
So the program's running, it's just not quite keeping up with the timing requirements of these NeoPixels at 8 megahertz. At slightly more, we don't know quite what, it works. So I've just programmed the chip to have its oscillator uh, frequency slightly raised above 8 megahertz again. And uh, it's all good again, we've got the pixel rotating around the device. Now I don't think it's anything to do with the uh, 500 nanoseconds pulse being too long. I think 500 nanoseconds is, is fine, it's within spec. I think it's what's uh, happening in the low part of the pulse. In other words, it's the programming overhead. It's all the calls to subroutines, the returns from subroutines, the decrementing of counters and the testing for zero, all that stuff. It's all this stuff. In my uh, main loop, I call stream. Well, stream actually puts out, I think, 384 pulses, and it does that by uh, itself executing 16 times. And then it calls either led on or led off, and those two subroutines execute 24 times. So stream actually sends out 16 multiplied by 24 pulses. Now, looking at uh, assembly language code on a monitor is very boring, so I've done, tried to draw it as a, a diagram here. There's a setup and a loop section of code. In the loop section, I call rotate. That simply moves a pointer to the next position around here, from 0 to 15, and then it uh, starts again from the beginning. Uh, then I call stream. That's the thing that puts out 384 uh, pulses, 24 per LED. Now, stream either calls LED on, which puts out 24 of the longer pulses, or it calls LED off, which puts out 24 of the shorter pulses. Stream itself executes 16 times. Then, when it's put out those 384 pulses, that's for the entire ring, there's a delay. Now, there's only a delay so that the movement of this pixel is slow enough that we can actually see it. If I took the delay out, uh, this thing would whiz around so fast you wouldn't see it. And I think that the problem that occurs when the uh, oscillator frequency is brought down to exactly 8 megahertz is that all of this call rotate, return back from rotate to loop, call stream, and then from stream we call LED on, return back from LED on, return back from stream to loop, call delay. All of these calls and returns and all the other program mechanics such as incrementing counters or decrementing them generally and testing them for zero. It's the sum of all that that is breaching the uh, pulse low space, which I think, uh, according to some websites, is about nine microseconds. I think it's going over that nine microseconds when the clock is running at eight megahertz, and it's probably just about tucking within that nine micro, um, microseconds when the clock is running at slightly more than eight megahertz. Now, a couple more name checks. Uh, Kev's Electrical Workshop said, what about the PIC 12F683? It's uh, basically a 12F675 with an 8 megahertz internal clock. Uh, so yes, uh, thanks for that, because I did actually then put a 12F683 in, and if you tweak the frequency up slightly beyond 8 megahertz, that actually works. So that was a good idea. Uh, PIC 12F1840 and problem solved. Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, yes, PIC 12F1840 is here, and it has a 32 MHz internal oscillator. Yeah, that would solve it. And uh, Nikolai says 12F1501 can go to 16 MHz with the internal oscillator and is cheaper. Okay, here it is, 12F1501, and uh, yes, that has a 16 MHz internal oscillator. I've actually bought one of those, just have a play with it. So, in the interests of uh, video variety, I think I'm going to have to put this to one side now for a little while because I need to get on with other things. But uh, a big thanks to uh, everyone who comments, particularly on this video because I'm kind of quite into this stuff. Uh, everyone who commented uh, constructively or otherwise, I do enjoy uh, reading all the comments. I can't reply to every single one, of course, because there are quite a lot. But uh, yeah, I definitely enjoy the comments, so thanks to everyone who uh, who makes these comments. Oh, I'm only halfway down. 
So yes, I could probably make 10 videos about the uh, various mucking about with the software that I've been doing over the past couple of days. Look, I've made it go really fast by shortening uh, this, the delay time. But uh, for the moment, from the land of NeoPixels and microcontrollers, cheerio.